Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge with me. And in this uh, video, I'll show you what are the changes that we got with the Android uh, 5.1 update. And um, this update is rolling out right now and I did not get the update uh, via OTA. Uh, so I was just fed up, so I flashed it manually via Odin. And as you can see, it's running on the Android version 5.1.1. In this video, I won't show you how to flash the update via Odin. Uh, in fact, if you want to know uh, more about that, just check out the video that Ash posted. He did a good tutorial on how to flash uh, this update manually if you're not getting it via OTA. But uh, if you don't want to do that, just to, uh, wait for a few days. You should be getting the update and uh, the things that i've noticed uh, the small changes they are actually very small changes that i've noticed the first thing that i've noticed is that uh, if we go to the notification tray uh, you just go to this edit by default you have this s finder and quick contact if you're like me uh, you never use them it's just taking up space you can just remove that now you go to the edit and here you can just uncheck these and now just hit done and as you can see those are gone so if i just remove this do not disturb also so here i have a lot of uh, space now in the notification bar so that's one thing that i have noticed this uh, wallpaper actually if you look closely if you just move it also moves uh, but if you are a person who does not like that animation you can disable it now just do this bench gesture oops sorry and uh, by the way just disable this uh, flipboard briefing it's uh, a lag fest anyways if you go to the wallpaper and here, uh, the motion effect, you can just disable it. Now, if you just move, it does not wobble. So that's one thing that I've noticed. In terms of responsiveness, uh, again, uh, uh, it's still very responsive. Even uh, prior to this update, the phone was responsive. So I haven't noticed any major change in that. It's just been an hour since I've been using this. But another thing that I've noticed is that now we have uh, the option to sort. Uh, this option was there in uh, models uh, that were selling in US, but it was not there in many of the international versions. Now we have that option. So now you can just hit this A to Z and now it will sort all your apps alphabetically. So if you want to do that, you can do it. If you want to do it manually also, you can go in the edit and move around. So they have added finally this feature. Also the camera has got a minor bump, I would say. Uh, nothing major drastic. Again, we have that double tap to open and it opens quickly. But now if we use this tap to uh, focus, you'll notice this bulb like thing. And using this, you can quickly adjust the exposure. So this is a new thing that I have noticed. I haven't uh, noticed any other major changes. Again, it's still responsive. Uh, the gallery app uh, loads quickly as uh, expected. And uh, uh, this was uh, the prior to the update, it was running the Android version 5.0.2. So these are the minor changes that I've seen on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge after this 5.1.1 update. It's too early to comment about the battery life changes because uh, uh, it'll take a couple of days to determine that if battery life has improved. If you have already got this update, do share your experience in the YouTube comments below. It'll be highly appreciated. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.